car get dough I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad Cheers to my past Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking You know, one of the things I realized was the resources on your own land. And up here on my land, I have all these big rocks, like you see right there. And I realized I could do, I could do um, a lot of nice landscaping with those rocks. And uh, every morning I walk this trail up on my property. But about, I would say about three years ago, um, on my cabin, I found that um, the guy that built it originally didn't do a good job waterproofing. And so I ended up uh, redoing this front side of my cabin and re-waterproofing it and hardy backering it. And my, my idea was that I would stone it when I got around to it, but I got sidetracked and I was building my, I started building my jumbo shop. And um, one thing I realized is I have a lot of natural resources on my land. I mean, I've got all these trees and, and they fall down every once in a while. And so I use them, I use the ones that, that die for firewood. And, um, but there's always more trees than there. <clears throat> so anyway, I started thinking about you know, I've got all these cool resources as far as rocks and and trees and everything on my property. And I started thinking about how I wanted to stone the bottom of that where the hardy becker is. And I was talking to my friend and I said, hey, why don't I use the stone that's all around my own land and um, just gather up pieces that'll work really good to and then stone the side of it. The little section of that side of my property and um, actually this is another property over here that I have that I I basically been stockpiling rocks up here I see this pile of rocks right here I have this pile going all the way down anyway um, I realized that I started looking around and I realized that I probably don't have to buy rocks because a lot of them, like so, some of them are too thick. You kind of want, you kind of want them like, you kind of want them to be like, you know, an inch or less thick. Like that's a, okay, one. Anyway, um, yeah, so what I did was I, uh, every, every afternoon when it gets a little hot, I take my tool cat and I come up on my property and I start gathering rocks that I could use on my wall. And I try to find the ones that are, you know, decent, flat. And I realized that I could easily, I had enough resources right on my property where I wouldn't have to buy any stone. Matter of fact, here's the thickness. This is kind of your average thickness that that I try to find. And, and if it's usually, they'll be flat on one side and a little lumpy on the other side. And there's all different colors, so. Actually, this is, this is kind of the pieces that I look for that are about one inch thick. And um, yeah, it's beautiful up here. I love it up here in the mountains. Usually I, usually I actually will carry a gun up here lately. The, um, not all the time, but there's a certain time of the year when we get some bears cruising through. And uh, there was a bear uh, recently cruising through. Now see this size right here. That's the perfect size right there. It's about one inch thick. Got a little, a little, um, moss growing on it which looks really cool actually i'm gonna take that one down anyway yeah this is about so this i just thought i would 
talk about, you know, take a look at your own property. And um, that's where I pulled out a big stump right there. But take a look at your own property and you can, um, there's a lot, lot of things on your property that, that are very useful. And you could, um, even the native plants. So what we do, when we first moved up here, probably did like everybody else does. And we bought some, some local like flowers and stuff and shit. These, these squirrels and deer ate all of them really quick. But what we realized was, you know, look around on your, on your own land and see there's, there's a lot of flowers and plants that, that the deer and the squirrels don't eat. And that's what you can use. Um, so we started digging, digging up plants that we liked and we would, we would plant them down in our planters. And that's, that started to be pretty successful. Anyway, today we're going to use, we're going to use, um, some stone from on our property to stone an area of the house that I repaired a couple years ago. And yeah, it's beautiful up here. I got, I still need to do a lot of fire mitigation up here. It's never ending for that stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go finish this stone and I will talk to you later. and years later. Good job.